All right, so another feature, let's go over some other features of the whiteboard chat. So if you click on grids, it gives you some options. So you can have some grids like for math, if you're doing something with that, you can change it to a bigger grid. Um, there's handwriting. There's uh, music sheets and so on. So I'm gonna go to clear grid because I don't want that. Um, and then additionally, there's these, uh, let me erase this real quick. All right, additionally, there's some tools over here. So if you click on the little paint canvas thing, um, it'll give you some options. So there's a math option, there's music option, alphabet and then what I really like about it is that there's manipulatives now this can be accessed by the students and by the teacher so let's say I want uh, my student to show me uh, 21 using the 10 blocks I can do that or I can do it I can model it so here's what they have they have um, these they have 10 frames they have all kinds of stuff here snaps fractions so a lot of good stuff so um i'm going to stick to the place value so if i want i could do it myself or i can have my student make a number so um serge romeo i want you to make 21 using your 10 block and your one block Twenty-one. <laughs> Good. Now find your one block. Good. All right, so I can't see your one block. Can you move your one block up more, please? All right, so then he just showed me 21. The rest of the class can see this. Um, it's just another uh, nice feature that the whiteboard chat has.